Welcome to the Low Carb MD Podcast. No one is beyond help. No one is beyond hope. As we have always said, we are bringing you medical information and cutting edge science, but none of this is medical advice. Please seek out input from your own doctor. Welcome to the Low Carb MD Podcast. This podcast is uh, extra meaningful to me. Um, it's going to be about food addiction. Now, most of us in the metabolic health space, uh, we try to help people lose weight and reclaim their health. And sometimes that can be challenging, challenging despite uh, nutritional advice. And often uh, some patients can face years of yo-yo dieting, years of struggling, and some uh, people may have significant psychological distress from this. And these can all be symptoms of food addiction. And uh, I'm so excited for this year's conference in Boca in uh, January, because one of the key hallmarks of this conference is getting together all the minds in the food addiction and metabolic psychiatry field and putting their heads together and uh, putting on an amazing uh, lineup that's gonna discuss all the aspects of food addiction. With me here today is Amy Igus, who's uh, heading up the workshop with me. That'll be on the Thursday, January, Doug, you have to remind me of the date, January twelfth. Uh, twelfth, if it is, that's the yeah, the day before the conference actually starts. So, think... yeah, Amy Igus is here, uh, who's helped me uh, put together. We've worked together to put this uh, workshop together to help expose other doctors, trainers, dietitians to implementing the basics, understanding the basics of. Uh, what's needed to address this patient population. On Friday, we have an amazing lineup of lecturers who are gonna be talking about food addiction. And I'm just gonna, you know, uh, give you guys a little sneak peek um, on what you're gonna experience on that Thursday when you come to that workshop. And Doug can go more into the lineup of speakers, but uh, it's, it's absolutely gonna be fantastic. Actually, Amy, do you have the, uh, do you have our itinerary up, you know, um, which I, I do. think, yeah, so, so I'm excited about this. I know you're excited about it. Uh, tell people what to expect. Sure. So, um, yeah, this is really exciting. I'm not sure that there's been anything like this in the States that I know of. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a, a number of really preeminent, um, experts in their field, uh, I'll be talking, which um, I am not an, I, I'm not a doctor. I have no fancy initials after my name, but I have, uh, I certainly have experience with clinicians telling me um, all the wrong things. Um, and uh, once I found the right clinicians for me, went on to lose 220 something pounds. But, um, but so that day we will, you know, I'll be talking about the things not to say to patients with food addiction. Uh, and then we'll have uh, Dr. Jen Unwin. We will have Dr. David Unwin uh, talking, and both of them will be talking about um, the motivational interviewing and diagnostic tools. Tro will be talking about diagnostic tools. Um, uh, Joan Ifland will be talking about what recovery looks like. Uh, who did I miss, Tro? Yeah, we um, have Cheryl, uh, the amazing dietitian who, who runs uh, support groups with uh, Dr. Sivas. And she's going to be talking about what it takes to get that support group up. So it's basically three hours, micro lectures. Amy will talk about the patient perspective and all her work setting up small groups. Jen Unwin, Dr. Jen Unwin will talk about motivational interviewing and some key facts that uh, some key points that she learned from her study. And uh, I'll be talking about diagnostic tools. What are the different tools you need when you're thinking about these patients uh, who really are disenfranchised? Re do they need help there? You know, they don't want to come into the office. They don't want to tell you that they've regained weight. They're, they're ashamed. They don't want you to 
see the, you know, the Uber Eats history. They don't want you to know kind of what's going on. There's a lot of emotions involved. So how do you get it out of them? And how do you, you know, get that trust and that rapport? And how do you break some of those barriers down? So we'll be talking about the various diagnostic tools that you can use to get a sense of what's going on. And Dr. David Unwin is going to be talking about the utility of food addiction in that clinical practice. And uh, Cheryl, who I met for the first time very recently, you know, she's been running groups using the addiction model for a long time. Um, you know, the stages of, of uh, kind of change, the readiness to change, assessment of change, and uh, handling food under the addiction model. And then, you know, Joe Nifflin will cap it off with, uh, you know, what recovery looks like and uh, then we'll have some closing remarks, but this is really a down and dirty workshop handouts questions, you know, and I'm really excited Doug Doug have you seen anything in the States that covered food addiction like this. I have not. Um, you know, even for us like for for a few years now i've kind of become aware of the fact that. A lot of people's problems with the. the with adhering to uh, to this lifestyle, um, they believe that it's going to help them, but they just can't do it. And I, in the beginning, I used to be um, very intolerant of that. I used to I used to think like these these people they're, they're crazy. It's like it is so easy, you know. But I realize now down the road that I actually was really lucky and I wasn't addicted. And so it was easy for me, but um, become aware of the fact that more and more people uh, are somewhere on this uh, food addiction, processed food addiction, carbohydrate addiction. Um, uh, what's it like a spectrum? There's yeah. a spectrum. That's the word I'm looking for, right? So um, it's becoming more and more apparent as this whole community develops that. If we want people to succeed, we're going to have to learn how to um, deal with their with their addiction and help them with that, and then in that way help them to be successful in in adopting this lifestyle. I think so, that's such a great. Oh, sorry to interrupt you, but I think that's such a great point. It's it's something a voice that's so missing from this low carb space. Mm -hmm. uh, it it makes me kind of crazy when I hear the low carb people who I very much agree with their nutritional approach, obviously, but, um, but I really think a lot of us have been missing the point, right? Have been missing the bigger picture here. Yes, get rid of the carbs. It, it will help. It will get you far. But um, there are so many people, like the vast majority of the people that we see uh, in clinic are they have their nutrition down. They are low carb. They they get it. They understand it, and yet they are still struggling. Mm. Um, and so, dealing and helping people heal their relationship with food is as important as what that food is. Um, and and I'm really excited to help clinicians understand that. Yeah. So uh, you know, I mean, for for these few years now, we've always had at least somebody talking about addiction, like one talk in our, in our conferences. Um, Nicole Avina has spoken before. Rob Sivers is, is quite frequently talking about uh, addiction. Um, we've had John Ifland quite frequently as well. Um, but I think it was you, Tro, who, who suggested like, hey, and maybe Rob as well. Like, we need to have like the whole day talk, talking about addiction. So um, you've helped me a lot in, in making this happen here now. So now we've got basically nine, nine presenters. The whole first day is all about food addiction, all the different components of it and how the science behind it and, and the, you know, the, the ways to deal with it. And, um, and then on top of that, you have been really kind, in fact, some of the other speakers as well, that to, to agree to come in the day before and run this workshop, which is what you were talking about at, at the beginning of the show. Um, this three hour workshop that we're gonna have on Thursday afternoon, you know, while people are coming in with early registration and that, we're gonna have a room set aside and you're gonna run this workshop that's like really a practical, um, 
practical way to to teach people um, physicians themselves especially how they can help their patients but even some of the some of the attendees at the, at the conference are actually just patients they're not um, physicians but they um they also there because their doctors often aren't helping them and so they they become to learn for themselves and and treat themselves and so they'll be able to attend and learn themselves how to deal with 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 their addiction so yeah so instead of a whole day it's actually on a day and a half now so we've got the whole half day workshop that the before the conference even starts and then the whole first day on the friday of the co of the conference and i don't believe there's been uh anything like that uh, to your question amy I, I don't think there's been anything like that in um in the states ever up to uh, up to this point well i think the uh the the reason for that is twofold one as a the society of metabolic health practitioners grows we need to train the doctors mm -hmm. on how to implement these things you know and that's the beauty of the smhp is that you know, we can start reaching the clinicians, the dietitians, the, the health coaches. I mean, you don't have to be, uh, you know, you don't have to have uh, fancy letters behind your name. You could be helping people every single day, setting up a small group independently uh, or, or through a big organization. Um, but the idea is, is how do we start to think about uh, binge eating and food addiction and, uh, how do we cater to those people? Because you know, obesity is a vulnerable population, but that people with food addiction are even more vulnerable uh, because uh, they're hopeless. They blame themselves, ridden by shame and guilt. There's a lot of emotional and psychological factors. So if we can get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 doctors just thinking about what are the different ways that I can approach these people? What are the different ways I can screen them? What are the different, what are the things I shouldn't say? You know, and Amy was like, Tro, I have to be a part of this. She's like, I just want clinicians to hear what not to say, you know, and uh, and she wanted to talk about uh, what it was like setting up our small groups, which have been critical to battling food addiction. Right. How do you break away from that loneliness and the feeling alone and shame and guilt? You create bonds, friends, a social group that is on that same journey. And that's something we've implemented in our practice for a number of years now. So how do we get to other doctors? It can't just be Joan. It can't just be us. It can't just be, you know, Jen Unwin doing these things in these small little pockets. We need to train a world to do this. So I'm very passionate about this and that workshop. And, you know, that's the workshop is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, the first day lineup is going to be awesome, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, you know, if I could just talk about that, or I don't know if you want to, Doug. I mean, it's it, it's a it's a star studded lineup, and it's going to be you know shorter talks and and panels, so we can really get everybody's involvement and everybody's insight. You mentioned Nicole Lavina, Vera Tarman, you know Shabani Sethi, who's you know the uh, uh, director at Stanford's uh, Metabolic Psychiatry. Uh, unit, you know, there's uh, Dr. Jen Unwin, Dr. Dave Unwin, Dr. Jen Unwin just put out that big paper, Joan Iflin, uh, Rob Sivis, I mean, uh, Dr. Greenblatt, all, all of these, you know, Nicole Lavina, I mean, everything from the science of food addiction and cravings, the, the clinical management to policy, I mean, we have it covered here. And then that's not even the, the whole conference. I mean, who else is talking on day day uh, day two, Doug? Uh, so we've I know got, we have a big name, a couple of big names. Yeah, so uh, Ben Beckman uh, is going to be there. Uh, Eric Westman, Annette Bosworth as well. I mean, we've been talking with her for a while about trying to get her to come and speak. She's got a huge following. She's an amazing, amazing person. Um, uh, Michael Hoffman is actually from my old university back in South Africa. Um, He's a, a, a neurosurgeon, basically a, a neurologist. So um, we're looking forward to hearing from him. Dr. Gapriet Pader uh, has been at, at the San Diego event a couple of times. Um, just one of the most incredible people in terms of what he's managed to do in his communities and, and how many people with his programs that he's reached, like literally thousands, hundreds of thousands of people 
it's uh it's pretty amazing um michael eads dr michael eads is, is he he was at our very first event back in 2016 and we actually haven't managed to get him back on our stage until now so um i'm really looking forward to that nina teischaltz is coming to speak um dr mark kukuzela um is always just such an amazing guy and then obviously uh dr ben with his um always very entertaining talks about um exercise and 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 exercising right so that uh, you actually um are able to use that exercise as an adjunct to to try and to to do this diet so um oh yeah and then uh dominic d'agostino is also um gracing our stage as well which is very exciting i mean that's a that's just an amazing lineup and that's all day on so uh friday saturday and saturday, saturday. And, yeah so all day friday is the is the addiction stuff and then saturday sunday is all the other speakers get a chance to talk uh, i mean that just sounds absolutely exciting i i i already know you know i think amy you tell me if i'm wrong i've you know 10 people in our circles 20 people from our circles yeah you know patients clients people who come to us for health coaching uh, you know, it's funny, people on our app are sharing their tickets and plane tickets and hotel confirmations. So it's, yeah, it's really exciting. We have to do a, a meetup, I think. But um, yeah, no, it's it's an amazing lineup. It's and uh, and it's also nice to get out of the Northeast uh, <laughs> and go to yeah. Florida during this time of year. Um, but yeah, actually... no, I think it's so Im important what you talked about, Tro, about that community and support. And that starts, you know, with all of us getting together, right? And and kind of explaining to people, both clinicians and to patients, what they're up against so they understand what they're up against. So that like they can really actually have community in real time with real people. Uh, um, something we've been sorely missing over the last couple of years is actual human connection in person, um, which will be nice to, to finally have again. Uh, now it's really, it's exciting and um, just the fact that we have this half a day on Thursday and a full day Friday, just devoted to food addiction is something that um, that warms my heart because it's really a very much needed voice. Yeah, what is, um, and what are some of the other speakers talking about on, on Saturday and Sunday? Uh, I'm still struggling to get uh, the, um, uh, What's it called? The uh, abstracts, abstracts from them about about their talks. So I, I, most of those uh, subjects haven't been filled in yet. I'll see if there's a couple. Um, Mark, Mark Kukuzela is talking about the magic of Zone Two training to improve your health and your life. Nina is talking about saturated fats versus vegetable oils. Where does the science stand? Um, I actually saw Dave Unwin actually sent me his abstract the other day, but I haven't uh, translated or, or copied his uh, title on into the uh, schedule yet. Um, yeah, that's uh, Annette Bosworth's talking. Her talk is uh, average blood sugar matters most. Um, but yes. you know, I mean, Ben Beckman's obviously going to be talking about most likely. Um, insulin and he's like he's like the the expert on on insulin and and how it uh, uh affects what we do when we uh when we actually try and do this diet what how how that um, affects insulin and how that insulin response is is critical in um in our metabolic health um, ben's uh ben has come out with some monstrous papers uh, he had an amazing paper with uh, Paul Mason and Dave Diamond on mm. uh, uh, low carb and lipids. That was very controversial, widely spread um, and widely shared on social media, already cited several times. He had a great, um, they did a great uh, uh, study. Ben, uh, Carolyn Apovian, who's a, you know, a, a a giant in the conventional uh, medical obesity space. Uh, she's a physician and an obesity specialist. 
uh, and D Dr. David Ludwig, where they literally biopsied the fat cells of humans uh, to show what happens with insulin resistance. So Ben Bickman has done fantastic research work. And I know, Doc, you know Dom D'Agostino has also done the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I cannot wait to hear from them because I always know that it's going to be like up to date, awesome science. Um, you know, and, and, and Ben never has never once have I watched a lecture and not walked away thinking like, holy, like I'm always wowed. So I, yeah, that's probably one of the big, you know, big lectures I'm looking forward to. And he doesn't speak often, you know, he doesn't take every speaking gig. So it's really cool that he's, you know, coming to this symposium uh, and supporting the SMHP this way. Yeah, it's it's an honor to have him, have him like, you know, he he cancelled on me a few years ago. He was like lined up to to speak, and uh, I, he had something come up with NASA basically that uh, conflicted with with the our conference, and so he he had to cancel on us. That was Dom uh, or or uh, Dom, that was Ben. Dom, no, Dom. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, I always joke about that. He couldn't make it because he had to go to space or something, you know. But uh, um, yeah, and he, he the work that he does with the Navy SEALs and with NASA is, is just mind blowing. And uh, it's always cool to to be able to find a, a a time where he's able to have the time to to actually come and attend and 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 speak with us. It's it's going to be awesome. So Doug. If somebody wants to sign up, they hear this, they want to, you know, go to the food addiction workshop, they want to sign up for this conference, where do they go? How do they do it? Because uh, I, I know that you have to request to go to the workshop too, right? right. How does okay. everything work? All right. So, so basically, yeah, there's, there's no way to navigate to a place to, to sign up for the, for the workshop. You have to have, you have to be an attendee, a registered attendee. Um, at the conference in order to be able to sign up for the workshop. But so basically they need to go to lowcarbusa.org, not .com. And then in the main menu under events, the very first one in the, in the drop down is the um, Symposium for Metabolic Health, Boca 2023. So if you click on that, it'll come up with, the, um, with that event page. And you scroll down a little bit under, um, Dr. Brian Lenske's photograph and, a, and a, um, a bit of a testimonial from him. There's a there's a block of four or, or six buttons, and if you click on there, you can either register for the in-person ticket or the live stream ticket. And then um, once you get the but you got to go to the workshop. I know we're not live streaming. I don't think we're live streaming the workshop unless no. you're, I'm wrong. Yeah, no, 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 we're not live streaming the workshop. Yeah. So, so basically, um, the minute you register and, and, and you come, you land on your, your confirmation page, it tells you there about uh, the workshop. And, and then in the email that you would receive, your confirmation email, there's, work, there's, um, there's information there as well about how you can go and, and sign up and register if, for the workshop if you're going to be able to attend it. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, and then we'll be sending out, you know, emails that we send out just to the registered attendees. We'll be reminding them there again and giving them a link to the form to sign up for the workshop as well if they um, somehow missed it when they first registered. So, uh, yeah, you register first and then you can uh, register for the for the workshop. Awesome. Awesome. And I hear we got about we got almost 50 people signed up for the workshop already. I think it's pretty, wow. it's pretty That's amazing. crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, is it, it's mostly clinicians or it's a combination of clinicians and, and, uh, and I, a lot of clinicians. I haven't looked closely at, at the breakdown of, of who's who yet, but um, there's a, yeah, I mean, a lot of the, there's probably 70, 80% of the, um, of the people that uh, attend the conferences are always at least um, practitioners of some kind. That right. does include health coaches, but they they form, I believe, a, a critical component of this, this whole community. You know, people like Tro convince their patients that they, um, that they need to do this. 
but he doesn't have the time to, to be able to hold their hand and coach them and teach them how to do it. Um, and deal a lot of the time with the addictive side of things, which, which sabotages them often. So, you know, the more of, the more of those people that can come and learn about how to deal with addiction, I think, um, the better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to go. And I hear there's going to be addictive cookies there. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so we'll, uh, see. we'll I have heard have that. Yeah. What's that? I have heard that. Yeah, I, uh, I can't wait to continue to eat addictive cookies now everywhere I go. It's harm <laughs> reduction. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I, uh, uh, Doug, I can't you. wait to meet uh, Rosette as well. We have, it's been years <laughs> now and we still have never actually met her in person. So that's going to be exciting too. Yeah, she was busy being a mom, you know, uh, she was yeah. busy being a mom. Listen, uh, Doug, thank you so much. Uh, Amy, I guess, thank you so much. Uh, you. I'm, a, I'm excited about this and working with all you guys to, to do this. At least, you know, hopefully the average person who, who goes to this conference, they walk away knowing who these people are, you know, who's, who is somebody with food addiction, binge eating, who are they? What are their feelings? What are their thoughts? How do they think? What do we need to do to reach them? And uh, how can we approach them in our clinics, in our coaching practices, in a way that's mindful and, and sets the stage for real health and healing and growth. So, um, you know, and then, and then once that's done, we're going to blast you with, you know, world-class talks on food addiction and metabolic health and keto and low carb and protein and the nutritional guidelines. It's, you know, I, I got to be honest, Doug, I haven't been excited about a conference in a long time, but I'm excited about this one. Oh, good. Be good to see you again, Tro. And uh, yeah. hopefully I'll organize your room properly this time so you won't have to uh, run quick, Brian. Well, I mean, it would be a very, very awkward because I'd have to be, uh, uh, my, my wife would be there. So I don't know if she would be comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it might get even more difficult. Huh? Yeah. Uh, well, the, int the good thing is, I think our whole practice is going to be, not the whole practice, but besides, uh, you know, uh, Amy, who's our program director, Brian Wiley, one of our health coaches also, he, I believe he's going to be there. Uh, it's not confirmed yet, but I believe he's going to be there. Uh, Dr. Laura Buchanan, you know, who started with us uh, earlier this year uh, and who was on the board for the SMHP, you know, she's also uh, coming with her husband, Matt Calkins. We're actually putting together some posters. So a lot of exciting stuff, Doug. Hopefully we elevate, help you elevate this conference. And, uh, you know, we're trying to make this awesome. I'm excited about it. Good. And that you mentioned that the posters, I mean, that's a new introduction uh, thing that we introduced in, in San Diego last, last year. That's, yeah. I mean, it's going to be great. Earlier. I mean, we're going to um, academic posters, you know, yeah, all so that, topics, you know, that went down really well in San Diego. So this is, this is the first time we're going to be having it down in Florida, but uh, mm -hmm. um, I'm excited to see how that grows over the next few years. I'm hoping that it will eventually, be, we will have to take over another entire hall to uh to accommodate all the posters but uh i hear we're bringing you at least two so okay i'm okay. looking forward to it yeah that was going to be good all right doug have a good one Just give my regards to pam okay will do cheers